Growing. I would love uh, nothing more than for you to put more technicians in the field, but you're barely keeping up with the ones that you've got. And you're wondering if growing more is going to mean that you're going to still own your business or will it own you? Uh, I have an answer. Service Titan, the world's leading all-in-one software for service businesses like yours. There is a reason the most successful contractors out there, some of which are your competitors, use Service Titan because it was born in the trade. The founders watched their own fathers struggle as paper invoices and late nights kept them from time with their families. So they went looking for a solution, and when they couldn't find one, they built it themselves. Service Titan will supercharge your workflow. It will transform the way you do business. Your office will love it. Your technicians will love it. So will your customers and, yes, yeah, your family. You've got a great service company. Now it is time to make it better. Book a Service Titan demo today at servicetitan.com. Servicetitan.com. SoCal weather from KFI, sunny today with highs mid-60s to the mid-70s. We'll be in the upper 70s for the weekend, and we should see some low 80s by Monday. We lead local, live from the KFI 24-hour newsroom. I'm Jennifer Jones-Lee. There is a lot of COVID info out there, but not all of it's true. So it's important to remember the fact. Do COVID-19 vaccines give people the virus? Nope. It's actually the opposite. Vaccines teach our cells how to fight COVID-19. And just like other vaccines, COVID-19 boosters help keep our immunity strong. Share the facts, not the virus. Find a vaccine near you at myturn.ca.gov. Brought to you by the California Department of Public Health. Tonight on ABC, the mystery and madness of Heaven's Gate. The cult who believed they would go to heaven on a UFO. The new Diane Sawyer event special. These people who are laughing 24 or 48 hours later kill themselves with bags head over their heads. For the first time, former members share their stories. What do we learn that could have saved lives and how not to fall prey to a cult? Be careful who's on the other side of the door. The Cult Next Door, tonight at 9 Central. Hey, it's Jennifer. Join us this March to Make March Matter for Children's Hospital Los Angeles. Make March Matter makes amazing things happen for sick kids. It's a month-long event that takes place right in your neighborhood. So every time you shop, dine, or attend an event at a participating partner, they'll donate funds to support Children's Hospital Los Angeles. It feels so good to give, and saving lives is everyone's business. For more information, visit MakeMarchMatter.org. That's MakeMarchMatter.org. If cold candidate calls aren't turning into hot hiring leads, then you need Indeed, because Indeed's powerful hiring platform makes it easy to attract, screen, and interview candidates all from one place. Find your next great hire visiting Indeed.com slash credit. This is Jacob Amrani. If you've been in an accident, call 844-24-JACOB. KFI AM640 live everywhere on the iHeartRadio app. First off, welcome to a Friday, and secondly, welcome to your wake-up call. I'm Jennifer Jones-Lee, and some of the big stories we're watching in the KFI 24-hour newsroom. Russia has widened its military offensive in Ukraine. Its forces have hit close to air force in the west of the country for the first time. New satellite photos show artillery pieces raised into firing positions all around the capital. The U.S. and its allies have prepared to revoke Russia's favored trading status to further cripple the economy. We are expected to hear more on a new plan to end the normal trade relations with the country from the president a little bit later today. A marine biologist with Southern California Marine Institute says bacteria from recent sewage spills may be the cause of a series of beach closures, closures in L.A. County. The L.A. County Health Department says bacteria levels could also be happening because of storm runoff, trash, or ocean debris, and more human and bird activity at the beaches. And if you hadn't heard, the man who played the fix-it shop owner, Luis, on Sesame Street has died. Emilio Delgado played the role for 45 years. He was 81. Dean Sharp, good morning to you. KFI's house with Burr. You have to remember Louise. 
Oh my gosh, I grew up with the week. Yes, I think we all did. And that was the story, like, it's so funny how something from your childhood like that just sticks in you. And it was like, I go through and I do my stories at night, and there's a lot of doom and gloom. And, and for whatever reason, that one was just like, oh, no, that was a piece of my childhood. For sure, for sure. I mean, Sesame Street was, uh, you know, I, I was raised on Sesame Street, so yeah. that probably explained a lot. Too. Oh, no, me too. <laughs> Mm. <laughs> Final piece of the puzzle for Dean. <laughs> Dean <laughs> you can listen to him tomorrow from 6 until 8, Sunday from 9 to 11, and of course, follow him on social media at Home with Dean. So, Dean, composting. I had no idea I was being a stock law. Yeah, exactly. We all are. Well, pretty much all of us are. Uh, something happened, you know, uh, quietly uh, that went into effect in January, you know, in the midst of... Uh, COVID and Ukraine and everything else that's going on, uh, guess what? There's a new law. And Well, first of all, it's not new. Uh, we actually passed, we uh, actually all passed this law in uh, 2016. It was Senate Bill uh, 1383. And it, it was, it, it is a good law, in my opinion. Uh, so I'm not going to mince words about it. Uh, Mr. Handel had some thoughts on it on Wednesday morning, but I'll tell you, it's something that we should have been doing a long, long time ago. And it's very simply this. You know, uh, I've been encouraging, all, all sorts of tree huggers like me have been encouraging people to compost for years and years and years uh, to really very little avail. Uh, because, you know, you get a few converts along the way. But by and large, most people are not going to do it. And uh, I think this was a wise move on the part of our state legislature because this is going to take composting out of the hands of uh, individuals. In other words, you don't have to. Uh, it's a composting law, but you don't have to do the composting at your house, which, you know, for a lot of people, admittedly, is not even a practical thing. All that's being asked of you is that, yes, we have one more step now in our waste services in that uh, we're going to be separating things a little different into the bins. Okay, and how does that work? So you're not going to get an extra composting bin. I remember in San Francisco when this went into effect, they actually rolled out a different composting bin. But in this case, most of us already have the bin, right? Exactly. Uh, most people in Southern California uh, with waste services, now there are a couple of uh, exceptions, but most of us have a, and I'm not, I'm not gonna go through the colors because I don't know why this is, but you know, there's different colors for different uh, trash services. But most of us have a trash bin now. We have a recycling bin and we have a, you know, a green bin or a bin for yard trimmings and stuff like that. The stuff that they, uh, you know, leaves and uh, mowed grass goes in. It's that bin, the yard trimming bin or what I'm gonna call the green bin that also now is going to receive food scraps from the kitchen. And, uh, and there's a very, very good reason why. That's where food scraps belong. Because now our waste services are mandated to take that green bin. Everything that is organic, essentially, and biodegradable and can break down. That's different from the recycling bin. The recycling bin has plastic bottles and aluminum cans and that kind of stuff, paper and cardboard and those things. And that goes to a recycling center where those are sorted into their separate categories. And, you know, plastic goes back into the plastic chain and cardboard goes in, in a different direction and aluminum goes back into the aluminum cycle. But organic waste. Uh, is now going to go into a composting cycle in which compost will be made in mass and then uh, sold back to uh, agriculture, which is great because it's getting the best kind of fertilizer possible for big agriculture instead of anything that we can uh, create in a laboratory, chemicals that are coming out of big pharma labs, things like that. Uh, and also, communities are going to be having a free composting day in which you can go down to, you know, a local location and pick up as much free compost for your own garden as you like. That way, we're actually putting this stuff back into the soil where it belongs. And here's the thing. About 50% of what goes into landfills is organic waste that can be composted. And... Why do we need it and why do we need to do it? Because we are depleting topsoil uh, off of the face of the earth in general, but off the face of North America uh, specifically. 
about 250 years ago, when our ancestors first got here, um, there was an average of 18 inches of topsoil, uh, average, uh, across North America. Now there is eight, Ooh. eight inches of topsoil. And topsoil, Jen, uh, it's not dirt. Topsoil is something very, very different. It's a mixture of uh, minerals and uh, moisture and oxygen and living microorganisms. Did you know this? There is a, uh, there are more microorganisms in one handful of healthy topsoil than all the human beings that have ever existed on this planet. Whoa, that I have no idea. Yeah, that is the beginning. That is the beginning of the plant-based food chain. And uh, topsoil is responsible for all plant life on planet Earth. We have been taking it away. We need to stop that. And we need to get into a cycle in which that which belongs in the soil goes back to the soil. It's really that simple. How do you do it on a daily basis? Because I'm thinking, okay, we sit down to dinner, we have dinner, I get up. Usually, whatever we we're, we haven't eaten just goes down the garbage disposal. I should be putting those, those scraps into what? Okay, so that's the trick. And that's why we're having this conversation. Not just so that everybody follows the law, which, by the way, is going to be phased in, in the, over the next two years, depending on your county and your location. But... Know this, fines are going to follow. There will be fines for not doing this right, so everybody needs to get in the groove and, and get with it. But the thing is, everything outside your house, you know, when it comes to the bin and the pickup and the composting, that's all being handled for you. You don't have to worry about that. But it is going to change the way you operate in the kitchen, like you said. Instead of food going down the garbage disposal or just getting scraped into the trash, you're going to need a separate container inside your house and there's a couple of different ways of going about this that's on you whether it means a uh, another trash can sitting on the floor or whether you buy a a, a new trash bin uh, for your kitchen that has two di you know two divided sections inside of it one for trash and uh, and one for food scraps what the what most people are going to do though uh, and probably should do is just get a simple composting pail, or I should say a food scrap pail, because you're not actually composting inside the pail. Um, you can get one at, uh, you know, Bed Bath & Beyond or Cost Plus. I mean, they're, they're a little stainless steel bin. It's got a lid with holes on it, a little charcoal filter on the top just so that things can sit in there for three or four days as it starts to fill up, and you're not going to smell it. They're not going to be flies or anything like that. Uh, and uh, it's just a place to scrape food scraps uh, as you're doing everything else. And when it fills up, you just take it outside and you dump it in your green bin. Yeah, and it, I mean, it looks, honestly, they're, they're kind of uh, cute. I mean, one is, it's, it, Dean sent me a couple pictures. One is black with kind of a copper handle on it. The other is stainless steel. I mean, you can, whatever, it looks like you can do whatever in your kitchen. So it can just become kind of a part of your decor. You're not going to notice it. They're very small. Oh yeah, these are and they're very stylish. You can go everything from just the the completely perfunctory. Here is a pin. I mean, if you want to do it yourself, you just get a mixing bowl with a you know with a lid on it. You could make one yourself. But you're gonna see these springing up all over the place. On average, they you know, they cost about thirty bucks. You're gonna see them at Pottery Barn. You're gonna see them at Bed Bath and Beyond. You, you'll see them all over the place. You're gonna have a lot of options to fit your kitchen. If you want to go further than that and get fancier then uh, you can actually do composting yourself on your kitchen counter these days. There are, there are machines, they're about the size of, uh, let's say, that, that air fryer that, that you were so excited about, right? Oh, love uh, the air fryer. About the same size as the air fryer, a compost accelerator. Vitamix makes one. Now, it's going to set you back about $400, but it's a heck of a lot of fun. Uh, you scrape your food scraps into this, uh, and uh, turn it on. It's a combination of heat, and there's a little macerator blade in there, not unlike your garbage disposal, but it moves much slower. Uh, and heat and air, and over a 24-hour period, it sits there and quietly hums in the corner of your kitchen. Uh, by tomorrow, dinner time, next uh, time, you'll be able to pull the tray out of the bottom. All the food scrap will be gone, and you'll have a little pile of uh, compost soil that you can just dump into the garden. Okay, I actually really like that, especially because we were just at Home Depot last night, and we were saying, oh, we, you know, we've got to get planting, that kind of thing. So there you go. I mean, I don't know if we're going to drop 400 bucks on it, but I like the idea of it. 
Exactly. And, you know, those are all going to come down in price as they get uh, more popular uh, and so on. So, you know, it's always going to be an option for people who really do want to compost themselves and just, uh, you know, bypass the bin altogether and just pour their own fruit scraps back out into their garden. Or you can, uh, you know, I asked Tina very unconsciously last week, I'm like, why don't, why don't, we, uh, why don't we have a food bin on our countertop? She's like, uh, because we have chicken steam. I'm like, oh yeah. Just, you guys have been composting forever and you didn't even probably realize it. Well, I just forget sometimes because it just becomes, you know, a rule of life around here. We just have, you know, whenever there are food scraps left over, 95% of them, uh, we just scrape into a bowl and say, okay, I'm taking this out of the chickens. And, uh, you know, they are nature's uh, garbage disposal. I love it. And they're awesome. How is Lucky, by the way? Lucky the rooster. He's fine. He's going off right now, so I've got the door closed so that uh, we don't have to put up with him. And I'll go <laughs> fix him later. <laughs> Gene, you are so fun. Thank you so much. This has been great having you on. Neil on this morning. I like Fridays like this. Yeah, can I also tell you that I think it's very suspicious that Neil knows as much about Girl Scout cookies as he does. I mean, Robin told me, she said, hey, Neil knows all about them. And I went, hey, I have a theory about all of us uh, KFI experts in our field. Uh, he's probably just making it up, just like I am. Just, he's just, he's just <laughs> that makes us all feel better. Who's gonna know? Who's gonna know? Who's gonna know? Who's gonna question you? Thank yeah. you, Dean. Have a great weekend. Thanks, Jen. See ya. You can hear Dean tomorrow, 6 to 8 and 9 to 11, of course, on Sunday morning. Follow him on social media, at Home with Dean. And I forgot to tell you to follow Neil on social media, at Fork Reporter. His stuff is hilarious. Not that Dean isn't, but if you follow Neil on social media, he, I don't know where he comes up with the food memes that he has, or like the little food jokes that he has, but it's hilarious. It is the best kind of dad joke that you're going to roll your eyes about in the middle of the day, and you're going to go, oh my god, that's the like, craziest thing, and then later you'll tell your spouse. How do I know that? Because that's kind of all right, when we come back, we are going to talk with ABC's Inez de la Gutara. Vice President Harris announced during her trip to Poland that the U.S. is committing $50 million to humanitarian aid to help the people of Ukraine who are fleeing the country. And thousands of them were able to get out yesterday. But those people in Mariupol, remember where the children's hospital was bombed and the maternity ward? Well, they can't get out right now. The attacks are so fierce in that area. They are stuck. So how can the U.S. help? We'll find out when we talk with Inez in just a few minutes. Right now, let's get back to your drive. Nick Pagliocchini is checking out the 405. Mm -hmm. This is the Long Beach area. On the top on side, uh, not too far from Lakewood Boulevard, it is a crash. Now, it looks like lanes are blocked, but not super clear on the details. At least there's three or four cars involved, but everything may be off the center divider or up against the right shoulder. You're seeing a rough go on the 405 south end of the area. If you do have an update on this problem or anything else slowing you down, town 250 on your cell phone keyword is KFI traffic. Also, sending your drive in Santa Clarita, got some junk in lanes on the northbound side of the 5 near Magic Mountain Parkway, so more so Valencia. Anyway, car serving to avoid it, heads up for your drive. KFI in the sky helps get to there faster. I'm Nick Pagliocchini. Hey, y'all. Before I go, uh, this is Dean. Uh, you need a new appliance uh, this year? <laughs> well, that's going to be difficult because there are still serious COVID supply chain delays out there and price increases. Some brands have gone up over 20%, and you will be waiting eight months or more for delivery on most major appliances. That is the problem. Here is the solution. Let me help you out. Shop where Tina and I shop for all of our house whisperer clients, WDC Kitchen and Bath Center. WDC saw this all coming. They secured $25 million of inventory before the recent price jump and before the supply line shut down. So right now, with high prices and long delays everywhere else, WDC has exactly what you need in stock. Plus, free delivery for purchases over $5.99. And here's what you want to hear. Next day delivery to LA, Ventura, and Santa Barbara counties. And you can check inventory in real time right on the WDC website. And if you're having trouble finding Sub-Zero or Wolf Range, you need to check out WDC. They have secured as many of those products as possible. Chances are they have exactly what you're looking for. Buy something at WDC and mention the House Whisper. Get a free Cuisinart 13-piece cutlery set just for mentioning me. So, to find the WDC nearest you, go to WDCAppliances.com. That's WDCAppliances.com.
This report is sponsored by WhatsApp. No one should read your personal messages. That's why WhatsApp uses end-to-end -end encryption. It protects whatever you send before, during, and after you send it. So no one, not even WhatsApp, can read your messages. Always message privately. WhatsApp. This is Chris Collinsworth. Here's what's trending on the iHeart Sports Network. Presented by DraftKings. The Lakers will try to snap their two-game losing streak tonight when they play at home against the Washington Wizards. LeBron James is listed as questionable for tonight's game. King James is still dealing with the sore left knee that kept him out of Monday's game. And after months of negotiating, the MLB owners and the Players Association finally came to an agreement and ended the lockout. The opening day is April 7th. I'm Missy Jordan. Download the DraftKings app and use code SPORTS to get a free shot and millions of dollars up for grabs this week with your first deposit. Minimum $5 deposit required. Eligibility restrictions apply to DraftKings.com for details. Car you're looking to get rid of? Whether it's old or ancient, Cars for Kids will take your car in any condition. They have over 100 towers ready to pick your car up and fast. That's why hundreds of thousands of people ditched selling their cars and donated them instead. And their stellar service has earned them an average 4.9 star rating in the process. Try it yourself. Call 877-CARS-FOR-KIDS or go to carsforkids.com. It don't just say it's convenient. It is convenient. Donate today. 877-CARS-FOR-KIDS. Remember, that's cars with a K. You wouldn't trust a butcher to babysit your pet pig. You wouldn't trust a lumberjack to repair your antiques. Or a professional wrestler to be your massage therapist. So why would you trust anyone but Amco to fix your car? For over 50 years, we've been the trusted experts in transmission repair. Check engine light on, we'll check it for free. Limited time offer, restrictions and exclusions apply. See participating centers for full details. Double A, MCO. Proper caregiving can improve a seriously ill family member's quality of life. And while caregiving can be demanding, it can also be very rewarding, summoning the best of our humanity. Contributing to family members' well-being can have undeniable and long-lasting positive effects for both the patient and the caregiver. California's Paid Family Leave Program provides partial wage replacement benefits to California workers who take time off from work to care for an ill family member. This is your moment. The moment to care for your aging parents or grandparents. To be there to help them when they truly need it. To lend a helping hand or just a hand to hold. If you have an ailing parent or grandparent, Paid Family Leave can provide you with up to eight weeks of partial wage replacement to give you the time you need to give them the attention they need. This is your moment. Take it. To learn more, visit CaliforniaPaidFamilyLeave.com. Moments matter. Owen Patterson and Owen has recovered over $10 billion for accident victims. Injury cases require layers of expertise and experience who can get results. I'm Susan Owen, managing partner at Owen Patterson and Owen. We are a firm that knows what we're doing. Carefully consider the reputation and winning track records before you choose who to trust. You've been injured. Call Owen Patterson and Owen, 888-OPO-WIN. And we do. 888-OPO-WINS. Or go to opolaw.com. Regrow your own natural hair with the same simple one-day treatment that I received from Advanced Hair Restoration. Get a free consultation, $250 off, and 250 free hair grafts by calling 844-333-HAIR or advancedhair.com. At Ralph, fresh groceries are our thing. So we check your delivery order for freshness at every step from farm to store. And pick and pack every veggie in your free pickup order with care. Because we treat your food the way we want ours to be treated. We're fresh every Every day, so shop anyway. Well, fresh for everyone. Free pickup on orders of $35 or more. Restrictions may apply. Get more ways to save if to buy five or more, save $1 each sale. Just buy five or more participating items and save a dollar each with cars. Now, fresh for everyone. Portions of the following program will be recorded. If you had an affair with a former neo-Nazi, nobody wants to hear, oh, but he's changing his ways now. He fights, he fights racism now. So you take, you take your tattoo of the swastika and you turn it into a Sudoku board. Bill Handel, mornings from 6 to 10 on KFI. Live everywhere on the iHeartRadio app. The man who can, I don't know, find the silver lining in any situation, Mr. Handel, is coming up in just a few minutes.
to be a fly on the wall of that man's mind. I'm Jennifer Jones Lee. Some of the stories we're watching in the KFI 24 hour newsroom. China has stepped in to support Russia in its information war against the West. It claims the U.S. has financed biological weapons labs in Ukraine. The U.S. denies that claim. Russian airstrikes have hit an airport in western Ukraine. Ukraine says that attack killed four soldiers and hurt six. Let's get in now this morning to the humanitarian side of things with ABC's Inez de la Cucera. Inez, good morning. Vice President Harris yesterday was rounding up her trip in Poland and announced the U.S. would commit $50 million in humanitarian aid to help the people of Ukraine. But in order to help them, a lot of them have to escape, and that's not possible for many of them right now. Okay, and that's right, yes, some welcome news there uh, when it comes to Harris announcing that the U.S. would donate a, an, an additional $50 million, uh, bringing the total amount of money spent by the U.S. on uh, Ukraine to over $100 million. Congress also working on its own uh, financial assistance for Ukraine, so uh, I'm sure that is going to be some welcome news. The concern, though, is that it might not be enough in the same way that, you know, we've seen how Poland has welcomed these refugees and, and Poland has been praised. But there is a real concern here on the ground that if the number of refugees continues to climb, if people can continue to cross the border, Poland it could be overwhelmed. And you mentioned there that the Russians are starting to move west. That is something to watch. That's the, the big concern going forward. A lot of the people I've spoken with here, uh, you know, have, uh, so, I mean, uh, people from the east are very concerned. They arrive here in, in you know, in kind of a panic. Um, they, they've had to really flee for their lives. Uh, so they're the ones that are really exhausted and, and, and have a hard time getting through any kind of interviews without uh, tearing up. People from the west, though, for the most part, the, the ones who've already crossed into Poland are the ones I've spoken to at least. Are, are, don't seem, or, or we're not too worried about the people they've left behind. Uh, in some cases, some young moms or even uh, young moms I've spoken with were even considering going back because they felt that their uh, town wasn't being, um, you know, shelled yet, and, and, and so they wanted to be with their husband. But if um, if the, the Russians really start to move west, that's going to send another wave of refugees, people who uh, maybe have stuck it out for as long as they have because they felt that, that it was still relatively safe in their cities in western Ukraine. Those people are now going to start coming over, and that could overwhelm Poland. And the people of Mariupol seem stuck. Nope. Did we lose an ad? Thank God. Oh, uh, thought, thought I lost you. You mentioned Mariupol. Yeah, the, um, the city of Mariupol was, was is obviously one of the hardest hits. Uh, there were some, uh, well, I think a, a lot of uh, outside observers were hopeful that the humanitarian corridors that had been negotiated between the Russians and the Ukrainians would hold up, and that would allow for civilians to flee Mariupol and for critical uh, assistance and, and humanitarian aid to get into the city as well. But we did hear, as starting Thursday, that the Russians had resumed bombing, and so the buildings are no longer being evacuated, and those supplies are not getting in either. And so that means, as it stands right now, Mariupol is surrounded by Russians. No supplies are getting in. People can't get out. And so people are lacking in, in you know, food and water, in some cases, electricity, with some really dire conditions for civilians there. Undoubtedly. And as thank you so much for your time. I appreciate it. Thank you. All right. See you later. That is ABC's Inez de la Cutera. That is a wrap for your wake-up call for this week in March. Where it's March 11th now. Coming up, it is Handle on the News. But even before that, let's say good morning to Jeff Ball, who's going to take a look at that drive on the 10. Hi, Sam. Good morning, Jennifer. Happy Friday to all. Well, as a matter of fact, we're starting to sense around the valley here. But uh, just to be a, a heads up about the weather and stuff, the wind is really blowing. And it's mostly the west of San Fernando Valley. Anybody that spends time in the valley will know when I talk about it. We get into these conditions. Uh, the east side of the coast, Burbank, is pretty good. But what I'm getting at is just watch for debris and stuff that you don't expect to find on the freeway. Now, the 101 is looking good uh, coming across San Fernando Valley. South 405 is all good. Even to downtown Los Angeles, pretty good. Now, we're heading down to Long Beach. We've had reports of a problem I heard Nick trying to warn you about this. South 405. They're on Lakewood Boulevard, that general area, right outside Long Beach uh, uh, Airport. But there's something going on there. There's definitely some slowing approaching. So, again, be careful. Again, that's South 405, south of the 710, around Lakewood Boulevard. Just be careful. Northbound drive up to LAX is looking good. As a matter of fact, most of the south wind right now, Inland Empire, Orange County, 
We're off to a pretty good start. I'm going to cross my fingers, and maybe we can keep it this way. Don't go away. Jeff Fogg, good morning. KFI in the sky. This is KFI and KOST HD2 Los Angeles. Joining us today, Scott Painter, CEO and co-founder of Autonomy. It's a new company. It's right here in L.A. that offers car subscriptions. The whole idea behind a subscription was being able to simplify the transaction and make it easier for the customer. There is no better way to get into a Tesla Model 3 than the Autonomy subscription. Buying a car also seems so cumbersome. This seems to be a super easy way to get you into the Tesla Model 3. You're doing the entire thing on your phone. You're not buying a car. You are saying, I want to use the car. We own the car. We manage all the tax, the title, the registration, all the maintenance is covered. So this is a very real way to get access to flexible mobility without having to go through the headache of ownership and buying the car and the negotiation that often goes along with it. You mentioned that this whole process can just be literally minutes of you on your phone. What are the steps and how is it so quick? You simply go to autonomy.com, install the app, you simply give us your driver's license and that digital form of payment, and you get either the car delivered to you or you go and pick it up. That's it. Wow, I'm excited about it. The job market is competitive right now, so you need to be competitive to attract top talent. If you're trying to fill open positions in your business, iHeartMedia is here to help. Use radio and digital targeting to find fresh, passive candidates currently in the workforce. These candidates are listening right now, looking for new opportunities. Together, we can let the community know you're hiring. Visit iHeartAdvertising.com. That's iHeartAdvertising.com. This is Jacob M. Ronnie. If you've been in an accident, call 844-24-JACOB. SoCal weather from KFI. Sunny today, very windy. We have a wind advisory in effect until 3 this afternoon that Jeff was just mentioning. Then we will be in the 70s for the weekend, some upper 70s and some low 80s even by Monday. We leave local. Live from the KFI 24-hour newsroom, I'm Jennifer Jones-Lee. This has been your wake-up call. Handle on the news starts now. Handle on the news. Handle on the news. And now, here's Bill Handel. KFI AM 640. Bill Handel here. Good morning on the 11th day of March on a Friday. And, oh, sorry about that. Just finished chewing. What are you eating? Mm. And coffee. I gotta eating? tell you, the, I, I am such a pro at this stuff. It sometimes just floors me. Uh, good morning, Jennifer. Hi, how are you? What are you eating? And... Oh, you didn't hear me. No, I didn't. I said, what are you eating? Oh, uh, a, a sandwich. Just finished oh. it, actually. Costco. Oh, um, of course. Yeah, of course. Uh, and uh, Wayne, good morning. Good morning. And uh, there's Tyler, good morning. Good morning, Bill. And Alex. Morning. All right, uh, I just want to share with you real quickly before we start... The show uh, had an epiphany, and it changed my life completely, and I'll share it with you. I am now looking at what I already have, but now I'm really paying attention to the price of gas on the corner of every gas station. How much is it? And as I pass it, as I pass these gas stations, I'm getting more and more upset that I pay 615. I could have gone there, 659, probably 559. I could have gone there, uh, and it's just driving me crazy. So, uh, my life has changed. I am not going to buy gas anymore. I am now pushing my car, and oh. uh, that's it. There's the answer, like Flintstone style. You got it. You will still have a, a similar problem though, because you will be pushing your car, and you will see some guy coming out of the gym, and you'll be like, oh, I could have had his muscles. Yes. No, no, because I, I go to the gym, mm -hmm. and there's no way. I actually have a decent amount of good gas news for you this morning. Yesterday, the average price of a gallon of unleaded gas in California, $5.69. This morning, $5.72. So that is a significant decrease in the daily increases that we've been seeing. Okay. Remember we were talking about how it's been 13 cents. Okay, so how much did it go I can't do the math. How much did three it go cents. up? Only three cents. Yeah. It's going up. Thing, so I actually have good news. Oh. Gas prices always defy gravity. They fall more slowly than they go up. Yeah. Always. 
I think the price of oil actually went down a little bit because the UA the UAE said, hey, we're going to do okay, oil we need to ramp up production, and so the speculation drove the price of oil down a little. Also, the yeah, CPI oil was like further oil, oil uh, the reserve. I think the government's going to release some uh, some oil again. And it's down right now. Futures are down to one hundred six dollars and thirteen cents okay. a barrel. All right. Well, that's better than one hundred and thirty. Yeah. Uh, which it has been. It fluctuates though. It, it's a commodity on the world market. That's for sure. And uh, there is a lot of talk about uh, rebating or at least uh, stopping suspending gas tax, both on a federal level and on California. And if it turns out that both feds in California suspend, uh, feds are six cents. California is like eighteen cents. I don't know what it is right now because it keeps going up. It's going to go up again. No, and what the governor, June, yeah, so. the governor is, uh, I think, held that one off. So I think it could be a, a quarter uh, between the two taxes that, that we take. hurt because, guess what, with the price so high, the sales tax component of it goes up. No, it goes up. Well, what happened to tie? Yeah, exactly. Oh, so yeah. in other words, they're, they're, they're actually getting more in the sales this, tax part of it. They can afford of the, to knock down the gas tax. This part is of it. one of the reasons uh, that California does so well. You're, I, I see you looking there. Again. Yeah. Do you know how much we pay in California tax on each gallon of gas? Well, I thought it was a total of maybe 18 cents. I feel that cents. I'm about to learn. Yes, what is it? 51.1 cents. At what price point? It just says this is according to at any to, price point. At any price point, uh, if this is fixed as a <laughs> yeah. you buy one gallon is fifty one cents. You buy ten gallons is five dollars and ten cents. Fifty one point one cents on each gallon. Okay. That, includes, says, that includes feds and that includes the excise tax. And this says it's actually not the highest in the country, although it doesn't tell me who has the highest in the country. Probably Hawaii. I would That's guess. what I was guessing. Yeah. I don't know if they even have a refinery in Hawaii. I'm sure they do, but they have to still bring. There's no pipelines to Hawaii, obviously, so it's just more expensive. All right, guys, uh, let's do it. Cool, a lot going on today. Uh, handle on the news, Jennifer Jones Lee, Wayne and me, Lee Story. Well, the Senate gives final approval to uh, Ukraine, part of the $1.5 trillion budget bill. And uh, it voted overwhelmingly. There were still a fair number of votes against by Republicans, but that's only because it was, became part of the package. Had it been separated on its own, it would have been uh, unanimous. And it was hilarious. I mean, they were everybody was doubling down. Biden originally wants six point four billion dollars. Uh, then he ends up requesting ten billion dollars. Congress says that's not enough. Can you imagine? We're going to give $13.6 billion. My dad's bigger than your dad. I'll show you a billion. No, no, I'll raise it a billion. They're playing poker, and they're real hilarious. So, uh, and this is from all over the world, too. Ukraine's going to lose this war, of course. Uh, and we're going to talk more about this, but the resistance is just astronomical, and the support Ukraine has from the rest of the world, short of putting uh, military forces uh, in country, is extraordinary. All right, now this is just a bizarre one. Russian threatened to abandon an American astronaut in space as the sanctions continue. For the last 24 years, the U.S. and Russia have worked together to maintain the International Space Station, right? Well, they say, you know, when you're flying around the Earth, this is Scott Kelly, astronaut Scott Kelly, at 17,500 miles an hour in a very hazardous environment, cooperation is the most important thing, right? Well, the ISS is divided into two sections, and one's run by Russia and one the U.S., and these astronauts were kind of the first ones that went into the ISS in 1998, and we've been, I guess, coexisting harmoniously in this case. But now there's an astronaut who holds the ongoing record for the longest space flight. He's set to end his 355 days in space in three weeks. And the plan with him for land to land in Kazakhstan with two Russian cosmonauts on the spacecraft. But then the sanctions went in against Russia, and that could put his return on hold. Here's the thing. There's only two people in the entire universe that can strand that guy. And it's those two cosmonauts. 
they would have to physically stop him from getting oh, on the return that's capsule. It, that's easy. Uh, they just say, no, he wouldn't go on uh, if they're stopping him. I mean, they're, they're not going to have a physical altercation. They say, no, he stays there. They're not going to say, no, they're going to say, just get on the capsule. I don't know if they're, the go I know if they're going to, but I don't think it really matters. Uh, all, all what's going to happen, assuming that it all goes south and, and he doesn't get on the Soyuz to return, uh, is that he's just there longer, and uh, the next trip to Space uh, X uh, uh, vehicle is going to go up. Uh, he'll come back with that. Uh, because uh, you've got uh, the Falcon and the capsule going to the space station. Maybe it's not scheduled now, but next time around. So we say he's uh, 380 days or 400 days. You know, enjoy yourself. Have some more weightlessness. But Russ is talking to us about putting Russian cosmonauts on the SpaceX flight. So this well, is going to happen. Assuming that, then it's it's going to be just one fight on my dad's bigger than your dad. No, no, no. I'm going to double down. No twice. I uh, know four times. So no Russia ever. No Russia for you. No pierogies will ever be on that spacecraft. No burgers will ever be on our side. What is going to happen? Jennifer, you want to take it from here in the KFI 24-hour newsroom? President Biden's making another move today to punish Russia for invading Ukraine. He's expected to reveal a plan to end normal trade relations with the country, which would allow new tariffs on Russian imports. The mask mandate for travelers is not ending next week. The TSA has extended it for another month. And SpaceX CEO Elon Musk is a dad again. He welcomed a second baby with Canadian singer Grimes. They had a daughter by surrogate in December and named her Exa. Your SoCal weather from KFI, sunny and windy today with highs in the mid-60s to the mid-70s. Let's take a look at that drive on the 405, get you an update there. All right, good morning. Listen up now. This is a big deal here, unfortunately. We're right over on Long Beach Airport right now. There's been a terrible crash. It's southbound of 405, a little bit past Cherry. As I speak to you, boy, fire department, CHP, everybody's there, a bunch of cars. All lanes are actually essentially shut down, and what they're using, or letting you use, I should say, is the far right collector lane. There's also an on-ramp there as well. Now, South 405 is really stopping as soon as you get past the 710. Now, northbound, let me see, do we have... Then northbound all lanes are up, but it's just a tremendous amount of spectator throwing coming up from around Lakewood Boulevard, so be prepared for that. Again, northbound all lanes are open, but southbound, it's really a, a long delay. Using the eastbound 91, in between the 710 and 605, south 605 to the 405, Willow Spring, they're all good. Don't go away, updates coming up. Jeff Ball, KFI in the sky. Start your spring cleaning at Whole Foods Market. Get 25% off seventh generation select cleaning products and laundry detergent through March 15th. Plus an extra 10% off your prime members while supplies last. See more on the Whole Foods Market app. This report is sponsored by the San Bernardino County Transportation Authority. Hence an I-10 freeway driver. Freeway and ramp closures are coming up for the I-10 Express Lanes Project. Don't get stuck. For dates and detours, visit GoFTCTA.com. That's GoFTCTA.com for more information on the I-10 Express Lanes Project. You don't sleep well, which happens to a lot of us. It makes you irritable, on edge, all day. And then there are other days when we just feel just down and nothing feels right. And there's a lot of that going around. And if you're into natural alternatives, you'll appreciate this. CBDistillery.com, America's trusted source for CBD products. And they've added something called CBN, and I'm not going to get into the science here. But when it's combined with CBD, it makes the CBD even more effective. This is a natural path to calming, body, managing discomfort after physical activity. Over two million customers, including my family, they love it. A money-back guarantee, no prescription required. CBDistillery.com. It's your handle for their discount. CBDistillery.com. Handle the discount they offer. Southern California yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Never approach or touch a downed wire or anything in contact with us. Stay away and call 911. Stay alert, stay safe. Yeah, yeah. More at SCD.com yeah. slash stay safe. I saw a for sale sign down the street the other day and yeah. yeah. it and next to it was a giant dumpster yeah. filled with wood and paint cans and yeah. I thought, oh, those people are so old school. They need to sell their home in the new fashioned way with opendoor.com. Yeah. 
She hasn't really invented the only way to sell your home, and it's one without the hassle and hurdles of listings and showings. With yeah, open doors, you get to skip yeah, the hard part yeah, of yeah. selling a house. You won't have to make those repairs yourself or do any stuff. You just go to opendoor.com slash KFI, answer a few really yeah, simple questions yeah, yeah, yeah. then Opendoor takes that information and compares it to other homes in the neighborhood. I went through the process, and within minutes, I got a real yeah, competitive yeah. offer for my house. So sell your home the new-fashioned yeah, way at yeah. opendoor.com slash KFI. Offer eligibility varies. Opendoor is represented by Opendoor Brokerage Inc., license number 0206-16130 in California, and Opendoor Brokerage LLC in its other market. So sell your home the new fashioned way at opendoor.com slash KFI. There's a lot of COVID info out there, but not all of it's true. So it's important to remember the facts. Do COVID-19 vaccines give people the virus? Nope, it's actually the opposite. Vaccines keep our cells how to fight COVID-19. And just like how other vaccines, COVID-19 helps keep our immunity strong. So the facts. Not the virus. Find a vaccine near you at myturn.ca.gov. Brought to you by the California Department of Public Health. Every penny counts. That's why Stater Brothers never wants you to miss a deal. You can view our weekly nice. app online anytime. And while you visit us online, sign up for digital deals for more savings. Stater Brothers wants you. Never miss a deal. Biden assured everyone, don't worry about nuclear war. I feel better now. Why don't people say these silly things? No, they are crazy. And that's supposed to like make people feel better? It would make me feel better if you go, no, don't worry about nuclear war. I don't feel better, John and Ken. Wait, David.